This tutorial is going to explain how to create a custom athletic tail with text. I'm going to go ahead and have a new page up. I'm going to click on my text tool, then click once on my screen, and type my word. I'm going to click on my pick tool, go ahead and make sure that's Pantone Black. And then I'm going to choose a uh, brush script I already had in mind. Go ahead and scale this up so it's bigger. That's a nice baseball type font, but I want to add a tail to the bottom of this. So I'm going to use the freehand tool and I'm just going to kind of click and drag and make a tail shape kind of what I want. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to edit it. So once you have that created you want to make sure that you're closing off the path to the first spot you clicked on. That way you can color it in. So at this point we're going to color it Pantone Black as well. We're going to go ahead to our outline and click no outline. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit here and we're going to edit this tail so it's kind of flows a little bit nicer. So I'm going to go to my shape tool which is your node editing tool. I'm going to click on my object here. I'm just going to start moving these nodes a little bit and adjusting them, turning these beziers, kind of getting it how I like it. If you have a bezier that is like this and you want a nice sharp tip there, you're going to click on that node then you're going to go up here and make a node a cusp. Then you can move the size independently and get that shape that you want on the end. I'm going to do that again for this one. And it takes a few minutes to get this right. But after you've done a few of them, then it can be pretty easy to do. And you can also delete nodes that you don't want by double clicking on them or clicking on them once and pressing delete on your keyboard. And say we're happy with that. That's how we want it then we're good to go. Um, we're going to add some text to the inside of this tail now. So you're going to click on your text tool, click once on your screen, type what you want it to say. Then I'm going to go and move this over top of the tail. I'm going to make it white. I'm going to, he going to head and uh, change the font. and I'm going to just start scaling it up. Um, you may want this spaced out a little bit more so you can just double click here to edit the word and then just add a space in between each letter. That way it kind of stretches along the whole tail. Now at this point you want to make this word baseball curve with the tail you're going to go to your interactive envelope tool and you're going to click on single arc mode hold down control on your keyboard and click and drag one of the back nodes here and you can kind of just adjust these nodes for this interactive envelope box until you get it just how you like it you can also independently move each one of these kind of follow the curve of the tail. Let's say we're happy with that. Now the one thing I want to mention is if you're making this tail for changing and using several times for different projects, there's one thing that we want to make sure that we do. Now the way that we did it at the moment is we didn't select any sort of alignment at all on the text. So if we were to go into 
text on the word Eagles, edit text, and change it to, say, Panthers. It's not going to stay connected to that end of that tail right there. So I'm going to hit Control Z to go back. And on the word Eagles, I'm going to want to make sure it's right aligned so that that end of that last letter stays right where it's at. So now if we, I went to edit text and changed it it's going to stay right to that tail right there on the end. Now whenever you're using an interactive envelope on text you're going to want to make sure that you have your text as centered text. Now if we go to edit text on this, you'll see if we change this to something else, something short, it's going to go to one side of the interactive envelope. So if I hit Control Z to go back, you can't just change to a center text off of an envelope. What you have to do is cl click on your word, go to your envelope tool, take your envelope off, and then go ahead and make your text centered, and then go ahead and add your interactive envelope again. And go in here and adjust it how you see fit. And then the last thing I want to show is how do you add an outline to this. Well, if we take the tail and then hold down shift and click on the word tigers, we can go and double click on the outline color box here. To bring up the outline pen dialog, we can add a size um, outline, whatever size we want. I go to other, make sure we choose a Pantone color, hit OK. You want to make sure you're on rounded corners and line caps and that you've selected behind fill and scale with image. Now we have an outline on here. The issue with this is you have this kind of messy looking outline going across where the tail and the S meet. The quickest way to fix that is to select your word, select your tail, go up here and press the weld button. And then they're together as one word and you don't have that weird outline effect going on. The only issue with that is that you no longer can edit the word tigers. So make sure you don't do that until you're done with your project.